Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FC24. We are three games away from the Holy Grail. The January transfer window will be opening shortly, and there are going to be some changes in this squad. Of course, I disabled the transfer window when we started, so I haven't made any changes to this squad. And it was really difficult at the start. As you guys know, I was getting absolutely battered. So many goals being scored against me, but also I was able to score a lot of goals as well. Now, more recently, I've been able to tweak it slightly, and I think I'm at the point now where I'm happy. So I will be showing my sliders in this episode to show you exactly how I've achieved, I think, just a bit more of a fun, realistic game. It's not perfect, though. We talk about it every single episode. I I'm seeing your comments. I'm getting tweets, messages on Instagram, all of that stuff. The gameplay isn't great this year so far. They do need to make some changes. But for now, if you want to try these sliders, I'm going to show you in just a moment, then give it a go. See what you think. But we do have three massive games. We're going away to Anfield. They're in second place right now. And I hate playing against Liverpool. So I don't want to say it's a free hit because if I lose, whatever. But it does feel like it. I, I think... I might struggle. Um, but then we've got two London derbies. We've got West Ham at the Emirates. And then, of course, we are going to Craven Cottage to play against Fulham. And then the transfer window will be open. Oh, I can't wait. I want to get him Capier in. I want to get maybe Jolinton or Paqueta, one of those guys. Henrique on the right. Maybe we try and sign Raya permanently. Although that seemed to not be working. But yes, let me show you my sliders. The first thing we're going to talk about is the difficulty level. This is, of course, completely up to you. I recommend Legendary or Ultimate. If you put it on Ultimate, you will notice that the CPU do very unrealistic things. Some of the passing is a little bit crazy. For me, it ruins the realism and, I mean, it ruins a bit of the fun as well. So for me and what I like to do, Legendary is where I want to be. But obviously, you can reduce it even more. Just know that you don't have access to competitor mode if you're not in legendary or above. So that's up to you. The most important thing here, though, is the game speed. I play on slow paced. I know a lot of people like it on default. Some people, mad people, like it on fast paced. But when it's slowed down, it means the passing's a little bit more methodical. It's a lot more realistic, in my opinion. It just slows the game down a little bit. So I fully recommend that. Now, if we go over to sliders, just pause the screen if you want to match exactly what I've got, but it's not very complicated at the moment. At the moment, all I've got is pass speed down to 45. That's pretty self-explanatory. I just like passing to be a bit slower. And then I've got the goalkeeping ability slightly higher, up to 60, because goalkeepers just don't make any saves. I tried 70 and it was too good. I tried, you know, 55. I even went up to like 58. 60 seems to be about right. You still concede quite a lot of shots, but some of them that he really should save, he will. Ramsdale, Raya, they're both doing very well at the moment for me. Um, but this is something I will constantly just make sure it is balanced, okay? Um, and then what I've done is I've increased the position marking, the run frequency, and the line height up to 75. I've tried 60, 70, 80, and I found that 75 is about right for what I like. And remember, again, this is all personal preference. Everything else is 50. So very, very simple. And then the CPU sliders. Now, one way you can make it just a little bit more realistic at the moment with the current build of this FC24 game is to make them miss a few more shots. Basically, they're scoring too much. So I've increased my goalkeeper's ability and I've made their shooting slightly worse. So when you put shots error up to 60, you are increasing the chance of an error. So they do miss more of their shots, but this isn't much. They still score quite a lot. Pass speed down to 45, of course, to match your own. And then I've increased their marking to 75, kept their run frequency at 50, but I have also pushed up their line height. So their defenders come up the pitch a little bit further, which is very modern these days. So up to 75 there as well. And that's it. That is it, guys. It's not too complicated. And of course, I will revisit this. If I make any changes, I'll let you know. But this is how I've achieved, I think, better gameplay. Time for Liverpool now. They've actually only got two wins in their last five games. That's good to see. They're playing a false nine. Tactical vision is Gagan pressing. They've got Van Dijk as a key defensive player. 
And apparently Trent, <laughs> just like Salah, is a key attacking player. I mean, that is interesting. Um, but Chetic is starting in midfield ahead of who would they have there? I mean, you could put Sabozlai in there, but as a DM, mm, they're missing a DM, aren't they? No Gakpo, no Darwin. Interesting. It's a very good team, though. I'm not particularly keen on this. Why is Vieira always tired? I've changed his training drill thing. He's always tired. Is it his stamina's bad? 64. Yeah, that isn't great, is it? Um, do you know what? I'm feeling like a Trossard game. I think I'm going to lose the battle in midfield, so why not just kind of go for it? Um, I could put Smith Rowe in there, but Trossard has been unhappy with me. Apparently, I'm, I'm not playing him enough, so we'll get him involved in this one. And I'm also going to go with Timber here. And I'm going to go with Zinchen uh, Tomiyasu over Zinchenko. Basically, just slightly more pace and strength up against Salah. Here we are at Anfield. I hate this place. I really do. It is such a horrible, horrible place. Arsenal never do well here. Do you remember last season? 2-0 up. <clears throat> what happened there? Oh, wait, we didn't win the game? No, of course we didn't. It's Anfield. Oh, here we go. Oh, Trossard into Martinelli. We could be in already. Into Jesus. Top right. Oh, okay. We are already 1-0 up. And we're just four minutes in. Are we going to break the Anfield curse? It genuinely could be happening. We've got another early goal. We've been scoring a lot of early goals recently. Canate tried to close me down. Oh, Alisson, he has to do better with that. And they're straight back in. Damn, okay. Fair play to Liverpool. They haven't struggled since conceding. They've just switched it back on straight away. And they've equalised. It's the perfect response, really. Well, Salah is already causing issues. Here is Luis Diaz back to Salah. Just can't really get close to him. Robertson with the cross. Oh, that could have really been a dangerous one. But Chetic, go on, just shoot. Oh, oh no. Oh. This is horrible. Oh my God, how have I not won the ball there? Robertson again. Plays it back. Just get a tackle in. There we go. And it wasn't a penalty, which was good. Oh my God. Whoa. This is what happens when you play with two cams. Yeah, Martinelli's got you on toast. Van Dijk, no chance. Whoa, handball. <laughs> He's just basically caught it. Trossard now. Oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll get the corner in. Hopefully we can get someone on the end of it. Headed out by Trent. Only as far as Declan Rice. Cross coming in. Oh, wow. Here we go again. Tommy Yasu getting forward. Over here to Havertz. Pass that one through the middle. Oh, Trossard's on. No. It's so cruel. For a split second, it just continued. And I thought he's on. But no, he's going to be half his face offside. Literally, that was down the middle of his, his head. That was brilliant. Well, we've got a couple of minutes left here. I've been impressed with Liverpool. Actually, Bacetic as well. Very... Oh, okay. As soon as I said that. Commentator's curse. And then Havertz with the most terrible pass ever. How did I not get that one through? Okay, well, it looks like we're going to go in at the break. One all. Liverpool are making some changes here. Bacetic off for Simikas, Really? What are they doing there? I think I should make some changes, actually. We are... Going into the final 25 minutes here, and I'm I'm a little bit worried about my midfield getting overran. So we're going to put Partey in, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a shimmy here. Like this, get Havertz a little bit further forward. And actually, I'm going to switch those guys around. And I'm going to bring in Ben White and Smith Rowe instead of Havertz, because Havertz hasn't had his best game ever, but they've got a free kick in a good position here. It doesn't look like Salah's going to shoot. He's gone for the cross. Tomiyasu, that is the weakest header. What was that? Okay, we're good. Oh my God, what a ball. Oh, Smith Rowe. No, I should have gone left side. I went right. Why? Why did I do that? Okay, we're going short because you know what that means. We've got Declan Rice on the edge of the box. Oh, yes. On his left, though. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I needed, well, ideally, Saka. But he's the one taking the corner, so I can't really do that. Five minutes remaining at Anfield here. Corner comes in. Ramsdale's going to collect it. Come on. Don't roll around. Come on. Let's go. Tommy Asu. Hello. Just going for a little run. Smith throw in the middle, maybe. Oh, he hasn't really timed it well. Over to Saka. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not where you want to lose it. Okay, thankfully, they've taken their time with this break. They could have got in there. They really could have. I think we just hold on for a draw here. That would still be a pretty good result against Liverpool. Unless... Oh, my God, Saliba. Surely not, guys. Surely not. Saka. Look at Smith Rowe. I've got to. Please. I mean, they're celebrating like it's a goal. And, I mean... I cannot believe I haven't scored that. I'm genuinely speechless. Okay. Uh, well, I've still got a chance here. You guys know what's coming. Edge of the box. Onto his right foot. Oh. Well. The curse continues. Winning at Anfield. Just ain't the thing. And it's thanks to this guy. Again, he's just so good. Is it time to add more coaches? I think so. I think it's time. It's stupid though, when you click that email, it takes you here and then you can't go into your list of coaches. That should really not take you to the market. It should just take you to team strategy. Please EA, if anyone's watching this, just, just think about these things, would you? So we've got 10 out of 20 stars, 14 out of 22, nine out of 22, nine out of nine. I think we improve our defense. <laughs> I think that's very important. Still can't sack coaches, by the way, so don't do it. Um, I can only get a three-star. We're going to hire Megan Hart here. A little bit disappointing, only a three-star coach, but it will do. We'll sign her up. So that puts us up to 12. Let's get an attacking coach as well. And we have quite a few here. We've got Grace Cunningham. We've got Oliver George, Samuel Buckley. I mean, ideally, you just go with the cheapest one here, right? It doesn't really matter. We've got two open positions. I might as well get two then. So we'll get Grace in. Welcome to Arsenal. And, um... Hmm. I think we go defence again. Get another defensive one in. Oh, we've only got two stars. Um... Hmm. All right, let's throw in another attacker. Samuel Buckley. In you go. We're up to 18 stars. So I have completely maxed out my coaches. I cannot get any more in, but we are missing a lot of stars. But that, that of course, is going to be impossible to improve now because I can't sack any of them unless I can replace them. Maybe I'll test that, but not mid-recording because I don't want to crash the game. Um, but I'm really happy with that. We've got... Goalkeeping at nine stars, that's ideal. Um, 12 out of 22, 14 out of 22, 18 out of 20. And we are an attacking team, so it makes sense that our best one is attack. Outside of goalkeeping, obviously. At least for this one, guys, we are back at the Emirates. And we are up against West Ham, London derby. But feeling confident. If we can get a draw at Anfield, we can do anything. <laughs> um, looking at the West Ham team before... They haven't got James Ward-Prowse in there, which was a bit of a surprise, to be honest. They went with Coventry instead. Um, I've had to drop Saliba because his fitness levels were very low. So I've changed his training plan as well. And I've lost the ball, which is always good. I don't know what I'm going to expect from this West Ham side today. They could turn up and destroy me. But um, just don't let Paqueta get on the ball. This guy right here. He will cause mayhem. And Kudus as well on that right wing. I would have loved to sign Kudus. That would have been amazing. Let's go, Martinelli. And Ketia starts today as well, by the way. And he's going to get in here. Oh, he hasn't quite got the strength. Well, that's a good header. And it's 1-0. Saka with another assist. He's not scoring as many right now, but that's fine. Goals and assists. That's all I want from my best players. And Martinelli has made it 1-0. And again, it's another early goal. That little chip from Enketia was a little bit pointless, I thought, but it worked out. 
What is that? What is that? The ball just bouncing wherever it wants to go. I mean, I don't want to watch that. I literally don't want to see that again. That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. Oh, and I've just realised it's Rice's first appearance against his old club. There you go. What is going on? What is going on there? Again. <laughs> that celebration. Oh, Mikel, never change, mate. What is he doing? Um, this this kind of sucks because I feel like it's reverted to how bad it was before. Like, honestly, what is Ramsdale doing? I don't know. It's fine. Two goals conceded. Just don't concede anymore. We're going to score goals. Oh, that's lucky. Vieira. Oh, <laughs> Fabio Vieira. I said we'd score goals and we've got one very soon after saying it. Very lucky that the pass made it through, though. That is an insane tackle. Gabriel, mate. You need to chill. Now Enketia. No, that's going to be half time anyway. It's been a good game, this. Honestly, I know there's been too many goals again. You know, four goals in the first half, but it's not unheard of. And um, I made some silly mistakes, but we're making up for it. Vieira, again, quality. He's just a brick wall. If we score from this, it's because of Gabriel again. Here's Vieira. Why not have a shot? Oh my God, that was actually going in, wasn't it? How? From that kind of angle? No way. No way! Oh my God, Fabio Vieira. He's undroppable at the moment. He's playing in that Granite Xhaka role. That number eight role, and it is, it, he's making it his own. Look at this for a goal. Oh my God, that is truly special. He's something else. Honestly, I'm so surprised at how good Fabio Vieira is. I'm very tempted to put him in training. And by the way, none of my players are in training right now. You know, the development plans, none of them. They all finished the single one I gave some players and none of them have any at the moment. But I kind of want to get him into a defensive training drill so he can play that left centre mid role. I think if we get his defensive stats up, he could be a brilliant central midfielder for the rest of this series, potentially. He's so, so good. He's just lacking in that defensive department. And Ramsdale again. Oh, what a pass. Zinchenko almost found Nketiah. We've got about 10 minutes to go here. Putting pressure on their defence. Oh, wow. There's no way they get out of this. No way. No, I'm not having this. You're not allowed out. Oh, my God, they've done it. <laughs> Fair play. That was very well done. And they're actually making it into an attack here. Zinchenko's just too slow to be a good left back, unfortunately. He he does get caught out a lot. It's something I need to think about for sure. But here we go on the attack. Can we win the game for sure here? We need a run from Nketia. He's making one. Just pretend that didn't happen, guys. Into injury time now. Just holding on. Don't concede a last minute equaliser, please. We're good. We're good. Just boot it out. Yes. Oh, what a win that is. Okay, so a draw against Liverpool, a win against West Ham. Now, if I beat Fulham, I would say we're where we should be in this career mode. Hopefully, top three minimum. Leno starting in goal. They've got Palinia in there again. Willian, Raul Jimenez up top. I thought we're going to start this game off with a match sim. And we could be off to a great start here. Oh, never mind. So I have changed up the lineup a little bit. Um, I brought in Smith Rowe. He starts this one. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wait, we didn't even have a shot in that first bit of play. Okay, well, we're going to get one here because Smith Rowe's in. And it's blocked. And we're 1-0 down. And it's Willian. Ex-Arsenal. How many times... Am I going to have to talk about an ex-Arsenal player doing well against us? It feels like every time... Oh, my God, they're in again. Oh, wow. I thought that went in. I really did. I'm jumping in for the second half here. We're still 1-0 down. And I'm just not creating enough chances. And when I'm having chances, I'm clearly not being efficient with them at all. We haven't taken any, so 
big second half here. I would really, really hate to drop points against Fulham. I think they were 15th, 16th. Oh, my God. Woo. That was close. Wow, that stayed in. <laughs> and now Martinelli has a chance to run at the defence. Get across in. Havertz. Wait, what? How did Havertz get on the end of that? I think it was Ream, the Fulham defender. Let's have a look. The cross wasn't that good. Oh, my. This is what I'm talking about. This is defensive AI. Look at him. Obviously, I pressed shoot, but I never expected in a million years you could do a hundred of those crosses and only one of them would maybe make it to Havertz. But the fact that he's just slammed it in like that and Ream was looking the other way, I mean, it's just embarrassing, isn't it? Onside? I think he is. 2-1. Gabby Jesus. Love that. We're in the lead. The question is, now that I'm winning the game, will the CPU do better? Yeah, there you go. Momentum, guys. Saka instantly scores a third. I've brought some subs on now, but this should be game over. We weren't playing well in that first half at all in this simulation. But then in the second half, oh my God, they didn't make a sub. Wow. But then the second half, I've gone in, I've changed it 2-1. I've got, I've got us going and then it wasn't a problem at all. Oh dear, it's bad news, guys. Thomas Partey, he wants to go. Thomas Partey wants to go now. He's just signed a new deal. But um, yeah, it, it looks like we're going to be losing Thomas Partey. He is very unhappy. There's nothing I can do. I'm guessing that means he has transfer listed himself. Let's have a look, shall we? Thomas Partey, where are you? He is, yeah, he's, he's submitted a transfer request. We're actually going to lose him. How much is he worth? 38 million. Hmm. In a way, I'm actually not too devastated about that. He's 30 years old. We've got Declan Rice now. I can think of more important players that I'd, I'd rather keep, you know? So maybe not the worst thing ever. What we're going to do is go into the calendar here and we're just going to go to the first day of the window. And... Um, the transfer window is open. We can do what we want now. Diomande is here. Cedric has joined Everton. So he's gone. Let's have a look at Diomande's stats in um, more detail. So he is going to be at the bottom here. 76 rated. Oof. <laughs> I like him. He's going to be an absolute monster of a player for us. Very, very happy with that. He strengthens our defence for sure. Now, one player that I'm absolutely dead certain on signing is Hincapié. So we are going to go, get, go ahead and get him right now. And we're going to sign him for right now because we need him. I, I, I really do. Kivior is fine, but he's not, he's not great. And whenever I don't play Gabriel, I feel the drop off. It's crazy. So what I'm going to do is try and offer player swaps because I've got so many players that I don't want at the club. And they just don't leave. It feels almost impossible. So we're going to try and get rid of Walters here as a part of this deal. I'm going to put in 25 million. We've got 100 odd million. So we've got plenty of money for this. Are they going to be interested? Oh, they want Trossard. That's a fat no. Absolutely not. Uh, we can try... I've got a few midfielders like Aziz, El Elneny. We could try El Elneny, couldn't we? But if I'm losing... Thomas Partey, it's, it's two DMs leaving. Okay, let's try Aziz instead. I'm going to put up the price to 26. Interested? No. Oh, my. That is a lot of money. Um, I mean, I'm willing to go to 35.5. I will increase the sell-on clause because we're going to be here for many seasons. We'll go to 15%. How about that? Is that a good deal? Okay, nice. I mean, <sighs> including players is always tricky. It might not work. So I'm quite happy that we've been able to at least come to a price. 
Now we go for the contract and hope that he's not going to be too expensive. There you go. He's cheap, isn't he? He only wants a rotation squad role as well. Wow, I'm, I'm quite surprised, actually. Um, Five-year deal. He's just 21 years old. He only wants a three-year deal? All right, we'll go with four then. Hey, he thinks we're a stepping stone, guys. I can't be having that. <laughs> Don't need a release clause. And I'll put him on... Well, he probably wants at least 50, right? I'd be happy to give him 50. I'd give him more. Ooh, I was close. Okay, we're going to get rid of the bonus. If he takes 50 per week, I'll give him 500 grand up front. Go on. Take it, Piero. He wants 53. That's a joke. <laughs> I'll try 50 again, and I'll bump him up to 550 grand up front. Surely he'll accept it this time. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to take it. Our first proper signing. Of course, Diamande came in, but this is a, a signing that I'm making for right now instead of like a pre-contract, you know. Really happy to get him Capier in. He is going to be a stunning player. Left back, left centre back, left wing back. He can play all of it. So I'm really, really happy with this signing. Not cheap, but 80 rated, 21 years old. He's got a great potential and he, he just fills a gap. You know, that's one of the most important things. And of course, he's South American. So we get one out of three on the objectives. Nice gloves, mate. Uh, he won't be the number 13, though. We're going to go ahead and give him a different squad number. Let's see what's available. And there he is, our new number 23. I think that that suits him quite nicely. And here is Diomande, our new number 16. Goodbye, Holding. What a shame. What do we do next? Do we leave it for the next episode? I think we probably do. This has been a long one. Three games done. Two signings have joined. It feels like we're going to go ahead and jump into the next episode and make some more changes to the squad. I'm so excited, guys. I want to use these new signings right now. So don't miss it. Tomorrow, 7pm. I will see you then.